In an ideal world, our loved ones would age gracefully and peacefully. The reality is many need help as they get older, relying on the care of a nursing home. But there's much more to it than just finding the right place. There's a little known rule that may be putting our seniors in a financial bind. All new tonight, THV 11's Karen Fuller takes a closer look at the personal needs allowance meant to grant dignity, but may feel like it comes at a cost. Leaving your home for a new one is easily among the most stressful changes in life. And when that move is to a nursing home, the emotional strain can have a ripple effect on an entire family. Loved ones may feel sad seeing an elderly parent or grandparent grow less and less independent. And for the resident, it means new rules and a loss of freedom to live as you once did portion of Saline County and all of Grant County. State Representative Julie Mayberry has years of experience on advisory councils advocating for Arkansas's elderly residents. She says the cost of nursing home care is high and is paid for first by any assets belonging to the resident before the government steps in. It is actually their money and the government wants to use their money first to supply the nursing home and meet their needs. According to SeniorLiving.org, an elder advocacy group, the average price for a semi-private room in Arkansas is around $6,000 a month. But Mayberry tells me there is a little known rule meant for seniors to keep some control over their lives by keeping some of their money. It's called the personal needs allowance. This is a monthly payment to a person in a nursing home that allows them to buy little things that the nursing home is not able to supply for them. It might be slippers, it might be socks, it might be um, their favorite chips that they want because they can't get those chips anymore. And maybe it's a book or a magazine or needlepoint or something to keep them active. Congress enacted the personal needs allowance back in 1974. Lawmakers later revised it in 1987, raising the minimum allowance states must provide to $30 monthly with a maximum of $200. But that's a key part of this. States decide the number. Arkansas comes in near the bottom of states with the lowest PNA, letting residents keep $40 a month. Only seven states fall below Arkansas, and just one, Alaska, pays the highest PNA allowed. It's true, you're once a man, you're twice a child, so you're going to go back as you age to being a, a, a childlike. Darren O'Quinn is a Little Rock attorney specializing in nursing home issues. He says as baby boomers reach their golden years, the number of Arkansas's population in nursing homes is expected to skyrocket. Our population is is graying now and, and there's going to, the nursing homes are going to be an important uh, facet of care for the next, you know, 20 years for sure. The personal needs allowance is intended to enhance the lives of those who depend on others to keep them safe. But at only $40 a month, people like O'Quinn and Mayberry tell me it's appalling. The Department of Human Services regulates the PNA and says raising it in Arkansas is a twofold process. First, the federal centers for Medicare and Medicaid services would have to allow an increase. Then the Arkansas legislature and the governor would need to approve it. Nursing homes are supposed to be a home. They're the resident's home. They're not, they're not in a hospital. They're not a patient. It's, that's, their, that's where they live. You know, they're not there to just be warehoused. State Representative Mayberry agrees, saying the need for care can happen to anyone, and the time to think about that care is now. This is a big issue in our state, and we need to be thinking about this now, or we're going to have a crisis on down the road. And we called Arkansas's congressional delegation and other leaders to get their thoughts on raising the personal needs allowance. While most agree the PNA deserves another look, they say there are more pressing issues in the forefront. If you feel passionate about this subject, we encourage you to write or call your state or local lawmaker and have your voice heard.